the Nintendo Wii's success was driven by many games. However, one game we all remember clearly was Wii Sports, a sports game that ushered in the age of motion controllers and every household with a Wii console in it can recall swinging their way through the night as they played tennis, bowling and sword fighting. The idea of a possible sequel had everyone excited as the Nintendo Switch's Joy-Cons pack everything that the Wii Motion Controller and of course the Motion Plus Controller had but refined for modern games. Nintendo Switch Sports is sadly a far cry from what made Wii Sports so great. In fact, it is a shallow experience that puts an emphasis on online gaming instead of catching for those families who grew up playing the original game. At launch, Nintendo Switch Sports comes packed with 6 sports modes. Many of them are familiar with this series and for the most part they all play pretty much the same as the original game. We have bowling, tennis, sword play called Chambara, football, badminton and volleyball. Most sports also have a range of different modes to enjoy. For example, bowling can be played as a simple match or something called a special lane mode that creates obstacles across each run such as moving bridges and pins that pop up and down which I had to avoid while I was bowling. These alternate modes do add some depth to the experience, but most of them are pretty underwhelming. Football, for example, has some of the best and worst modes in the game. Shootout let me strap on my ring fit adventure leg strap and kick the ball as it came towards me. Sadly, this mode is also shallow and revolved around me kicking the ball 5 times to try and get more goals through the massive post than my opponent. Kicking my leg in a different direction also didn't change the way the ball kicked, it just boiled down to me timing my kick. So in the end I just stood there, flicked my leg and the ball was kicked towards the goals. I just wanted a bit more depth here, given how advanced these Joy-Cons are, surely Nintendo could have added some sort of direction or speed requirement to each kick too, you know, make it a bit detailed. You'll also need the leg strap so you either need to own Ring Fit or buy the physical edition of Nintendo Switch Sports or purchase the strap separately, I just wouldn't go out and buy the strap for the silly little mode. But the football mode does come with a pretty fun 4 and 4 mode. Here our players run around the field using the analog stick on each remote and swing the remotes to kick the ball. I could also swing both remotes at the same time to jump ahead and perform a header shot. While the AR was a bit cumbersome, this mode was fun to play and felt sort of like a Rocket League mode, but with more motion control and movement to it. Then we have Volleyball, which is my least favourite mode in this entire game. It revolves around two teams of two standing around and performing different actions depending on where the ball was going during the match. I had to stand there and block the ball if it was coming towards the net, hit it up to pass it and hit it forward to smack it to the other side. There's very little to it that kept me on my feet, in fact after a while I just sat down and played this mode due to its slow pace and limited movement. I also had to lift one arm every now and then so sitting on the couch was actually a lot more comfortable. Chambara is the sword play in Nintendo Switch Sports. Here I could choose from three game modes to play. There's a single sword, a single sword with a charged attack and twin swords. I was then placed into arena to face off against my opponent. The aim here is to smack them around while avoiding their blocks and blocking when they attack. Different angles of blocking can be countered by slicing in the same direction and a charged attack can be performed by swinging both swords down at once. I did enjoy Chambara, the motion of the Joy-Cons worked well replicating my actions and slicing and dicing felt awesome in every match. However, I do wish the matches were a bit longer. There are just 3 rounds and the ring was tiny, so I could only smack my friends around just a little bit before knocking them off the edge. But the steam of short and shallow is a common issue in this game. We then have my favourite game mode, Badminton. I mostly enjoyed this mode because it lasted a decent amount of time. While most of the sports are over before they get good, Badminton actually let me enjoy it and swing my arms around for at least 5 minutes at a time. Sure this can be shorter with an easier CPU AI, but when I had my friends to face, I had an intense match between the two of us. If only other sports in this game kept things going as long as Badminton did. Bowling is okay. There are 9 blocks to bowl for but the general gameplay here is also underwhelming. In the original game you had to hold down the trigger button and let go of it when you wanted your me to throw the ball. In Nintendo Switch Sports this is all automated and all you have to do is swing your arm around. I mean yeah, you just swing your arm, it's pretty boring. 
so I had to move my character to the center point, but the lack of any real movement skill on offer here was a disappointment. I could curve the ball when turning my hand at the last second, but even that felt clunky, and most of the time the curve didn't turn out as effective as it should have. This meant I just stood there, pulled my arm back and swung it forward and the ball automatically went flying. I couldn't determine the speed or the distance or the height in which the ball dropped. It was just so automated and I felt like Nintendo was holding my hand in every match. Tennis was also fun, especially with a team of four. The matches lasted a decent amount of time but I also felt like the movement of my racket and hitting the ball wasn't as accurate as it was in badminton. When I wanted to hit the shuttlecock left, I swung my arm in that direction and it went there. In tennis, I just flipped my hand and hit the ball. There's very little accuracy required to tailor the ball's movement to where I wanted it to go. Sort of like the game was scared to give players the freedom to move around and hit things the way they want. This was my biggest issue with Nintendo Switch Sports, it just plays things safe and the sports end up being boring due to this. There's no real freedom to have fun and just when you're into something the match ends. Even the 4 on 4 football, these matches last for 5 minutes and it's over. The shootout mode made me put on my leg strap, remove the joy-con grip and set the whole damn thing up just for me to stand there and flick my leg for 5 shots. But shallow gameplay aside, Nintendo Switch Sports also burned me bad due to its underwhelming progression system. As someone who played the original and Wii Sports Resort, it was sad to see that everything fun is locked behind an online mode in this game. You can't progress any ranks and you can't unlock any cosmetic items to use on your character without playing against other people online. This is a sad cry in the series that was built on the success of gamers who grew up playing this with their family and friends in their homes. The offline mode doesn't even have a decent leaderboard system that you can enjoy with your friends and family. You actually have to go into the game mode, choose the character and wait for the best score to show up on the screen to keep tabs on what your best bowling tally was. I just can't fathom why Nintendo neglected offline play this much. I know everyone to themselves but this is not a game I'll play online against other players, especially considering ping when connecting to EU servers. This is a game I boot up and my friends and family are over and enjoy it. It is just a pity that most of the content here is short and mediocre. It isn't fair to compare this Nintendo Switch Sports to Wii Sports or Wii Sports Resort, but Nintendo made this as a spiritual successor and it just doesn't hit the mark. It takes itself way too seriously and as a result it is missing the core sports that we love the most and the excitement that came from the original experience. Nintendo Switch Sports does plan on getting golf added at a later stage and the online mode is expected to get a timed event with unique cosmetics to earn. If you're going to play this online then you might enjoy it more, but if you're expecting this to keep your gaming parties alive when your friends and family come over, I doubt this game has enough life in it to do that. And those are all my thoughts on Nintendo Switch Sports. Are you going to pick this game up? Let us know down below. Please do like and subscribe and visit www.glitchedonline for all your gaming, tech and pop culture news. Until next time, farewell.